This is the Norton Phone 3A. We're looking at the lock screen settings for this device. This is the lock screen. I have already customized it a bit. You can see that's a wall uh, using a picture of myself. But apart from that, I really haven't done anything else with it. So let's get started with customizing your Norton Phone 3A lock screen. Once you have the lock screen on like this, you can press and hold this to come up with the customized lock screen button and then it asks you to authenticate to access it. And here are the number of things you can modify from here. There are other things you can modify from elsewhere in the phone. You can change what the clock and information displayed here is all about. I prefer something very simple and that gives me a good quick glance at the time. I, what I need most from my lock screen is the time. And um, this does it for me. I don't want the weather and all that. I just want time. So I'm keeping this. Of course, the date is there, but you know, you have to look a little bit closer in order to appreciate that. Now, you can add widgets on the lock screen, which is a nice touch, if you ask me. What sort of widgets are available? If you tap on this, it opens the widget menu. You can add an analog clock, but we already have a clock, so I'm not interested. Battery, the battery indicator icon shows here at the top of the screen anyway, so I'm not interested in that. Anyway, nothing has a set of custom widgets that you can add to the lock screen. These widgets are also available to be added to the home screen. So you just have to choose what you want and where. Since I already have um, time boldly available on the lock screen and date, weather is a good idea. I think that having uh, weather information on the lock screen is nice. A quick glance without having to unlock the phone. And you see that once I type that, that widget popped in here. For demonstration purposes, let's add another one. Screen time. And let's add this. Tap and screen time shows there. Let's see if we can add one more thing. Maybe headlines. Let's take off. Let's take off that screen time and add headlines. Yes. And then you can click the tap on this X here and close the widget settings. And these widgets are now part of the lock screen. So if I exit that and go back, open the lock screen, you can see time, date, weather, and headlines widget all active there. Let's get back to customizing. Press and hold, customize lock screen, authenticate. You can change the wallpaper of the lock screen from here. Pick what you want. Use AI to create one. Pick your own from your own photos. Pick from colors or any of what nothing has supplied. This is pretty straightforward, nothing new. You can also customize these two shortcuts at the bottom of the screen. Just tap on this and it provides you with options to pick from. It's a limited set of options. If you don't want anything there, you can select none and that will go away. And then you come here to pick from available options and all. So that's all you can customize of the lock screen directly from the lock screen itself. But let's exit this mode. Now, the rest of the customization options that we're looking for are available in the phone settings. So let's head over to the settings. That's the settings icon. And here we are. Lock screen. Right there. You're going to start with privacy. What is the kind of information you want shown on your lock screen? Do you want it to show all notification content? In other words, if you get a text message, it will show you the content of the text message as well. 
do you want to show sensitive content only when unlocked or don't show notifications at all personally i am one of those who believe that smartphones have become a huge distraction so my lock screen does not show any notifications what about the quick look the quick look is this area watch this i'm going to open my lock screen again this is the quick look this area okay so what kind of information do you want displayed there weather and schedule so it also displays weather information i only added the weather widget to demonstrate how to add widgets i'm going to remove it because it definitely displays current weather information as well i have also enabled it to display calendar events and reminders so if i have a meeting i have an appointment i have something I, a task i need to do it will pop up on the lock screen so that i can attend to it which is cool that's that for quick look now quick settings do you know what quick settings are these are your quick settings on your phone do you want this accessible from your lock screen the issues are that if for example you have find my phone turned on and somebody can access your quick settings from the lock screen immediately they steal your phone they can turn off the hotspot turn off the mobile data such that you can't use that feature to find the phone so it's a security issue it's a privacy issue a lot of people are interested in disabling access to these sensitive things from their lock screen the nothing os gives us the ability to decide whether to enable the ability to swipe down the lock screen to view quick settings or not right now i can do this i can access it but if i change this setting and i turn it off and i go back to my lock screen suddenly i can't do that if somebody were to steal this phone while it is locked they cannot turn off mobile data they cannot turn off wi-fi they cannot turn off bluetooth they cannot turn off location i believe that it's um, a more secure option to go with but the choice is yours let's get back to our settings now add text on lock screen as you can see here i have added mr mobility your text can be anything it can be a motivational quote it can be your phone number it can be an email address for people to reach if they find your phone while it's missing but let me show you where that text is displayed it's displayed at the bottom here mr mobility any text you add in that menu right here gets displayed at the bottom you can also enable for users to be added to your phone from the lock screen so if more than one person uses this phone and you want a situation where you can add new users from the lock screen yes sure you can do that also tap to show lock screen if my screen is off like this i can tap it to turn on the lock, lock screen that's that's what that does lift to show lock screen if my phone is off like this and i want a situation where anytime i lift it up the lock screen will come on then this is the setting let me demonstrate it quickly so phone is resting i lift it the lock screen comes on immediately by itself i don't want that you know then do you want your screen to be woken up for notifications i don't want that either i i want to wake my screen up when i need it really so you can turn it on you can turn it off always on display always show basic info of lock screen I have that turned off. I don't need it to always be on display. I only need it when I need to see it. If you do decide to enable it, you can decide tap to show or you can schedule a time when the information will be shown. But I personally don't find it necessary. If you do, that's where to go. Other settings, I have shown you wallpaper, but you can also change your lock screen wallpaper from inside the settings. You can see here this is lock screen this is home screen so you can also change the wallpaper for the lock screen from in here in the settings power of verify is not exactly a lock screen thing but the idea is that if you press and hold your power button you want the phone to verify what you want to do do you want to restart it do you want to shut it down etc etc like this 
right? You want to set it to emergency mode, lock it down, power off, restart, blah, 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 blah. So these are all the features that are available for your lock screen. These are all the customizations that you can apply to the Nothing Phone 3A's lock screen. These settings also likely apply to the Nothing Phone 3A Pro and the 3A Lite. I suspect that much of this applies to all the phones in Nothing's lineup. The differences will be minor, if any at all. Let me know if there's anything I left out that you'd like me to talk about and provide more information on about lock screen customization of the Nothing Phone 3A. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for liking it. Do follow my channel. I look forward to seeing you when I release new videos.